this brand new smartphone is absolutely useless. Well, mainly because it is not charged and now I can't post pictures of my fancy sushi dinners or cruise vacations and yes, that's me being hugged by a sloth. So my life is pretty much over. Unless I have one of these. The charger. And look, boom, the universe makes sense again. Cancel my therapist. Now, when it comes to electric cars, things are not that much different. And since the best, most convenient, and the cheapest way to charge your electric car is at home, your home charger is the biggest, most important purchase you will ever make for your EV. But how much do you need to spend on your home charger and what chargers are the best on the budget? Meaning it will charge your car without burning down your house, which is always a nice perk. And guess what? I have the best person in the world, no joke, to answer the question. He'll be here in just one second, and we're going to start right now. Welcome to E4 Electric, and no, you can't just buy the cheapest charger on Amazon and call it a day. It's one of those things when you cannot afford to buy cheap sh**. It is a high voltage electric device that can cause some big trouble, including burning down your house. But it doesn't mean you have to spend a fortune on it either. So what to do, what to do. And what to do is to ask the best expert in the world in electric car charging, Tom Malogny, who is a veteran EV journalist and a host of the biggest EV charging channel on YouTube, appropriately named State of Charge. Now, when I asked Tom to come on and talk to us about the top five most affordable home chargers, he told me that the minimum budget for anything he can vouch for would have to be around $500. All right. Fair enough. Before I bring Tom in to walk us through all five chargers, a quick reminder that this video is brought to you by Electron. Look, one of the biggest challenges with owning an EV is finding convenient and reliable ways of charging it. That's why Electron is pioneering great charging solutions that let you charge where you want, when you want, regardless of your charging standard. Like their CCS to Tesla adapter, which lets Tesla drivers charge up to 300 amps at any CCS fast charger across the country. With a charging rate of up to 150 kilowatts, it can allow for up to 180 miles of range per hour. Get one today using the discount code in the description of this video. All right, Tom, let's talk about affordable home chargers. But before we get to the list, what makes an affordable but also good home charger? So on the affordable, Alex, you know, there's, if you look at the market now, there's so many chargers out there that cost $600, $700, $800. I took a look at $500 and less. I consider that affordable because that's on the low end of a charger that is relatively high powered uh, level two charger. What makes a charger good? Well, there's a lot of things. It, it should be built well. It should have a good warranty. It should um, be safety certified. It should have a nice long cable, a good, strong, well-made connector, and a nice connector holster. There's a lot of things that I use when I judge if a charger is a good charger or not. All right. Now, I know you test almost all of them yourself and you put them literally through hell, but the most entertaining part of your videos is what you call a deep freeze when you take the charger and put it in the freezer uh, and then leave it there overnight. But, uh, you know, humor me this. Uh, what uh, uh, What is the good boy from New Jersey like yourself doing with a commercial ice cream freezer? And what do you use it for when you're not testing home chargers? So I actually bought this just to freeze the chargers. Uh, you know, many freezers only go down to like zero degrees Fahrenheit, but commercial ice cream chests go way below that because ice cream has to be kept way below freezing, otherwise it gets soft. 
So I actually went out and bought a commercial ice cream freezer so I could do these cable deep freeze tests. And the goal is for me to get the, the charger down to about negative 15 degrees Fahrenheit for 24 hours. Then to see how well the cable bends, because this is really for people that live in the northern states, Alex. If you live in San Diego or southern Texas, you, you don't have to worry about this too much. But in areas where it's going to get down way below freezing overnight, Think about it, if your vehicle's parked outside and your charger's out outside, some people's chargers are mounted outside. When you get to your car in the morning, you, you go to unplug it and you've got like a frozen rope and the cable won't even bend. So I do this to see how pliable and how easy the cable's gonna be to work with on those really cold nights. Every time you do it, man, it's always entertaining. But let's get to the list. And are these in any particular order? No, no, I just, Throughout, you know, you, you said, give me give me some of your top picks for good chargers that are affordable. And that's what I gave you. All right. Let's get going with number one. OK, so number one, we're going to talk about the Grizzle E Classic. The Grizzle E Classic is a 40 amp non-smart charger. Now there's chargers or smart chargers means they typically come with an app and they're Wi-Fi enabled and you can uh, manipulate things through your app. You can start and stop a charging session. You could check out data, uh, but not a lot of people are really concerned with that. So most people just want the charger to just charge their car and, and that's it and be reliable. And the Grizzly uh, does that. It's, it's very well made. It's made of a, it's, it's got a really thick outer aluminum casing. Most chargers are plastic these days, even though some of the plastic's strong. This, uh, this is an incredibly tough uh, thing. The uh, Grizzly actually drove over it with cars and everything to prove how tough it was. Uh, and it's, it's a really well made, uh, charger. Uh, it's got a nice long cable and it's kind of like the no nonsense. If you just want something that's going to be reliable and affordable and work, then this is definitely one of your considerations. All right. Now the next one is, I, I believe it's amazing Eve fast. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, um, the amazing E is a line of portable chargers. They're small chargers. They're portable from a Clipper Creek. And uh, so the Amazing E-Fast is a 32 amp portable charger. It's very small, very lightweight. You can carry it with you. It plugs into a NEMA 1450 outlet. It'll deliver uh, up to 7.7 uh, .7 kilowatts. And it's good uh, for a portable charging unit. Now there are competitive units out there on the market that cost less than this. Uh, most of them are not safety certified. Most of them don't have good warranties. Uh, I like this unit because it's really built tough and it's going to last a long time. And I'd rather see people spend a, a couple dollars more, but get a really good, well-made product. Now, this is a really good, well-made product and it's available for around $400. And, you know, portable uh, chargers, you don't have to uh, have it mounted on the wall and you wired. It. it just requires a 240 outlet, correct? That's correct. You know, um, I tend to recommend for your home charging use, the charger you're going to use every day. I like to see that hardwired because it eliminates a point of failure. An outlet is a point of failure, but that doesn't work for everybody. And what I like about these portable units are is you can take them on the road for different places. So you could charge at your house. Some people have second homes here in New Jersey, like down the Jersey shore, or they have a, a winter home up in Vermont or Connecticut. And uh, they had, all they have to do is install an outlet there and plug in. I have friends that have EVs that installed outlets, say, at their parents' house. Their parents live 80 miles away. So they just had to install the outlet. They didn't have to buy the charging equipment because they just unplug their charger and go to their parents' house, plug it in when they're there, and then they can uh, they have enough juice to get home. All right. Now, uh, number three is the Tesla mobile connector. Yeah. So Tesla makes outstanding charging equipment. I, I I almost think, you know, I, I love Tesla vehicles. I think Tesla makes really good electric vehicles. I almost think their charging equipment compared to other charging equipment is better than their cars are better compared to other EVs. <laughs> Tesla really makes good charging, all of it. Uh, and we're not going to talk about all of their chargers here today, but two, two out of the three. So we talked about the mobile connector. The Tesla mobile connector is a dual voltage connector, which means it can charge from a 120 volt source, regular household outlet here in North America, or it can charge from 
a 240 volt outlet, a NEMA 1450 outlet. So uh, depending on what type of outlet you have available, you can use this on either uh, supply. And uh, it's a very good small lightweight unit. It comes with a 20 foot uh, cable, nice cable, comes in a nice handy carrying case. And for $230 is what Tesla charges for this. It's a ridiculously good deal. Um, it's, it, it may be one of the best deals you can buy of any charging equipment out there today. And does it only charge Teslas or can you charge any electric car? So out of the bag, it'll only charge Teslas because it has the Tesla connector. But you can buy a Tesla to J1772 adapter and use it to charge any electric vehicle. All right. Well, the next one is the wall connector from Tesla. How is yeah. this one different? Again, Tesla. So Tesla's wall connector is their permanently mounted, hardwired connector that gets mounted on your wall. It's not portable. Um, and uh, it's 48 amps. It can deliver uh, uh, up to 11.5 kilowatt, which is, a, is, is pretty much most electric vehicles top out at being able to accept 11.5 kilowatt. Now, some of the newer EVs with really big batteries can accept uh, up to 80 uh, amps, which is 19.2 kilowatts. But for all intents and purposes, the, the, uh, the 48 amp 11.5 ch uh, chargers like the Tesla wall connector are pretty much as powerful as most people would need. And uh, Tesla sells it for $425. It's a fantastic value. Um, and again, you can just buy that and then get an adapter uh, to charge uh, your uh, uh, J1772 vehicle. Tesla also sells a version of this with a J1772 connector, but they charge, geez, I think it's like $100 more. So that pushed it up over $500. It's why it's not on this list here today. But you can get uh, the wall connector and charge any electric vehicle with it if you're just buying an adapter. All right. Uh, the last but not least is the Emporia charger. Yeah. So the Emporia um, charger is relatively new. It's been out for about a year now, I think, maybe s slightly more. And honestly, it's a fantastic charger at a fantastic price. It's $399. Most comparable chargers on the market today that can do what the Emporia can do uh, cost at least $200 more. It's a 48 amp charger um, and it's a smart charger. It has a Wi, it has an app, Wi-Fi connected and Emporia sells a whole ecosystem of energy monitoring and energy saving devices. And um, uh, for instance, with this Emporia charger, if you buy what they call the Emporia View or the View 2, I think it's called, it's, it's another piece of equipment you need to buy from Emporia and you have solar electric, you can use the two to only charge your EV from excess solar production. So the solar that your house isn't using will trickle feed the battery on the uh, on your car. So you can say, my car is only charged with solar electricity. And, and there's very few uh, chargers out there that can do that. Uh, so it's got a lot of options and at the price, at the <laughs> $399, it's just a sick deal. Honestly, it, it may be the best deal available out there today. I mean, the Tesla wall connector is an awesome deal. The Tesla mobile connector is a fantastic deal, but for a permanently mounted, uh, you know, 48 amp charger to ha hang on the wall of your garage, it's tough to beat the Emporia these days. All right. Well, listen, I got to ask you this one. Out of these five, what would be your top pick? You know, Alex, that's the... <laughs> I, I, I'm such a nerd. There's things I like about each one of these chargers. Like I love the fact that the Tesla wall connector can, they call it daisy chain. And that means you can, you can share one circuit and add a bunch of chargers. So it'd have to be between the wall connector and the Emporia. Tom, um, they're not your children. You can pick one. It's okay. Oh, Come geez. On. <laughs> they're all my children. Look. Um, I know they are. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm going to qualify. If I owned a Tesla, I would probably get the wall connector. If I owned any other electric vehicle, probably the Emporia. All right. That's, that's, that's the, that's, you know, listen, anything that's on your list, as we talked about it before the video, uh, is a good product. So thanks so much for uh, doing this and I will see you here next time. Thanks for having me, Alex. Well, there you go.
If you want to know more about the commercial ice cream freezers or electric car chargers, whatever tickles your fancy, with extensive reviews and ratings from Tom, don't forget to subscribe to his channel. I put a link to it in the description of this video. All right, looking forward to all of your comments. Other than that, see you guys next time and remember to stay charged.